What's up, you guys? So I was watching the No Jumper interview with Krishan Rock and Blueface, right? And I'm sitting here looking at this interview. I think that Blueface is still with her um, because she gives him a sense of normality. He knows that he is a celebrity, right? And he's a public figure, right? But... He's still hood. He he still wants to feel like he's the normal normal guy. He he and I think that she fulfills that because she she just seems like she's not boring, you know, she's spontaneous, she's still hood. He don't seem like the type of person that would date a celebrity female, right? He 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 just don't seem like he would, even though he could too. He could. But he still just want to feel normal, if that makes sense. And I think that she, him being with her and putting up with her, that's the reason why. Because I'm trying to think to myself, and there's a lot of people asking, well, why the fuck is he still with her? You know what I'm saying? I had to ask myself that too. Now, yeah, of course it could be the sex, but damn, ain't that much good sex in the fucking world. Were you just putting up with somebody throwing a goddamn bottle at your head? I mean, they always spazzing out. I mean, they, um, you know, she, you know, she just unprofessional. I mean, she belittles him. She, she's aggressive. I mean, there be people on here talking about, oh, because I talk about Nina Boy or Young Pharaoh because I say certain things I say about niggas that they, they would. Tell me, oh, you're not ladylike. You need to start acting ladylike. Well, goddamn, I'm not even close to acting like her ass. What the hell? My baby. The mister, y'all. The mister. MR. My mister. My dude. Oh, That nigga would not put up with no shit like that. You have to know how to treat your man. This is your nigga. Not like that, but like that. And the things that she do is not like, you know? So then you got to question yourself and again and be like, well, why is he with her? And I can't understand how so many people would, would blame her. You know, I when he went to jail, I think I did a video about that months back. You know, and there was a lot of people saying, girl, you need to leave. You need to leave him right now. Run run they act like blue face you know what i'm saying got her held hostage he beating her ass like i turned her to tina um you know uh, pimping her out uh you know whooping her ass again every other wednesday i mean you just don't see that you see more of her being aggressive with him than you do him with her you don't see him initiating shit and, and being aggressive with her like she is with him. And I'm looking at this interview and I'm like, girl, that was uncalled for. Like you, that was uncalled for. You, what are you doing all that for? Now, now the liquor's involved. Okay, I get all that. But damn, every interview y'all acting like this. Yeah, it could be entertainment because you on the edge of your seat want to know what she going to do next. Oh my God, did she just do that? What the hell? What is going on here? You thinking about all these things when you watching them and you, that's the entertainment that we want, but it gets to a point to where it's not even entertaining no motherfucking more. It's like, girl, you need to get it together. And I don't know, you know, Blueface looked like he in control over the situation, right? I think he kind of likes some of this shit, you know, because he could, he could easily check her ass, you know? She ain't that damn uh, uncontrollable. Yeah, he he could he could have been easily checked her ass, you know. So I think he kind of like like it somewhat. That part right there is kind of fun to him because he's still young and he's like that hood guy. And we know how some of our <clears throat> when we was in the hood, how a lot of those 
couples be acting, you know, especially them young girls. It seemed like them young girls, the younger generation, um, they just like that. They like to fight. You know what I mean? They calling they nigga bro. Yeah, bro. You know, and and the, and, the, and, the, and they do calling them bro, calling they female bro, and you better shut up before I slap yo, you know, and that's just how they be interacting with each other. That's generation, the generation up under us. I'll be 39 on the 27th. The generation under us is crazy. Me and my daughter talk about that all the time. She's so mature for her age. Um, you know, she she even noticed it. She's like, is it really no love? Like she tell me all the different, you know, just what's popular, what's the trend for couples and you know, her age range, and it just sounds pathetic. It sounds crazy. It's just a shame. But, it, like, again, like I said, it kind of get a little irritating after a while because it's like, girl, Krishan, like, girl, you do not got to be doing all that. I mean, do you look back at these videos and be embarrassed? You know, when I used to drink or, we, you know, when people drink and they kind of have a moment where they don't drink too much and then somebody, you know, they'll probably see a clip of them, a picture or something, and it'll be like, ugh, I was like that? Oh, my God. You know, you be like, you know what, mm, I can't be, mm. And this ain't even on no worldwide scale of, like, you know, going on interviews and 200,000 people seeing you, millions of people seeing you over social media and you all over the Internet. It ain't even like that. You still feel some type of way. Even around your family, something may happen and y'all have to drink too much. And you kind of feel like, oh, what well, damn. She don't feel this way when she look back at this stuff. I mean, like, to have videos out here of her... It's embarrassing to see her. She don't see, she's not embarrassed for herself. If that was me, I'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. I don't like the way I look doing all that. I was doing a little bit too much. Let me not drink too much. Don't, baby, don't give me too much to drink. Just give me a cup or whatever. You know, because if I'm acting like this with all this, honey, I'm not, and I can't control myself. No telling her she be having her little blackout moments, don't even remember what the hell she's saying. Well, she do, because she, when they was on the interview um, on No Jumper last night <clears throat> or the day before, she she couldn't remember some of the stuff. And she kind of got mad about the fact that she couldn't remember some of the stuff, you know? And again, for the ones, oh, you blaming everything. I'm not blaming everything on her. Both both of them are toxic. It's just ridiculous, you know? And it, and it just shows, though, with her how immature she is. He immature too for putting up with it, and, and and you know, you know, not ex for him to just be accepting it, you know. Remember, I think Blueface Q as hell, y'all know that. But I'm starting to look at him like, nigga, is you slow? You got to be slow if you putting up with somebody like that, cause mo, no, no guy ain't finna be putting up with that like that. Mm mm. No, nah, that's too much, baby. You doing too much. You need to chill. Yeah, you need to go chill, or you need to go. You know, and and I couldn't understand either how her family just, you know, what I'm saying, uh, want to jump on Blueface like he really just out here just beating her ass like that. This man uh, helped her and put her on with certain things and she helped him, too. But to just be fighting him like that when they see what Krishan doing, too, like, why is y'all fighting over him like that? Now, I understand the being a family and OK, you're going to be by your family side and take up for them. OK, I get all that. But damn. Krishan, they, they, I, I know they see it. She doing a little bit too much. You sitting there throwing a glass at this nigga head. Now that's too much. That's too much. Then you just then then uh then then uh Blueface sitting back talking about yeah you know but she still love me. She she a nice person or she got a good heart, huh? She got a good heart. That's what you call a good heart. Damn, you all fucked up, dude. That's what you call a good heart? Her throwing a bottle upside your motherfucking head? Her socking you in front of your homeboys? Like, you know, I don't... That, that shit just looked ridiculous last night. I, I felt embarrassed for her, to tell you the truth. I really did. Sorry, you guys. I'm a little sick. I really did feel embarrassed for her. I hope she feel embarrassed for herself. This is not the look she should want. And they talking about this, her character. If this is her character... Uh, this don't seem like it's her character because this is how she, her ass is behind closed doors. This is who she really is. So, hell, her ass needs to get into character and be something that she not, which is, you know, 
young lady, you know, um, some manners, you know, carrying herself like a lady, not spazzing out. She needs to be the opposite of what she truly is because this ain't no damn character that she putting on, like Blueface was trying to say. Well, I don't know what kind of character she's trying to put on and what she, what she want, how she want people to view her character. Character ain't no character. She being herself, she need to put on the motherfucking character. She need to be practicing a character that's totally opposite from what the fuck she really is because this is who she truly is. She need to go get some media training or something because this shit ain't looking cool. It's just like... Every interview, I mean, like, come on, man. It seemed like every interview she doing something stupid. Now, is it all staged and they doing this on purpose? Now, who the fuck on stage getting hit upside the head with a glass bottle and a piece of glasses in your motherfucking head? Huh? Who gonna do that? Who gonna stage that? I mean, damn, that ain't staged. You know? Do she feel like she could just spaz out when the cameras is on or what? I mean, she because she like, he ain't going to do nothing because the cameras is on or I don't know what the hell going on with her. But yeah, this just, this just don't look cool at all. She doing a little bit too much, y'all. So that's my take on that. I had to say something about that. I mean, that interview was ridiculous. And if, it, and if they never would have took her out of that room on, because uh, they had to take her out. Uh, he never would have even been able to answer the questions that he answered and conducted himself the way that he conducted himself. We seen how he act when she not around. He was able to answer questions. He was dialoguing with them. You know, he was talking about why he really, you know, he liked rap. But, you know, since the corona, he was explaining it. He was, he was doing an interview how an interview should be conducted. They were, you know... I bet you if she was there, oh, well, what do you mean about this? And what do you, then when she came back, she looked at him all upside his head. You could tell she felt embarrassed. Yeah, you could. At the end, you could tell she she looked real stupid at the end when she came back. Because she didn't know how to kind of, you know, get back in where she could fit in to kind of act like none of that just happened. So she just sitting there, you know, like a little kid, just pouting and looking all stupid and shit. Well, why are you asking him that, babe, and all this stuff? I wish you... Now, it's cool you be rough with your man behind closed doors before y'all finna get it on. You tell you look at me. Yeah, you, you being rough with him when it comes to that. But just being rough with him on the just talking to him and having a conversation with him and the cameras is on and y'all in interviews in front of people and people are around. You know, and you a celebrity like that, like that ain't cool. She always touching on him. He always got to back up. Move, move. You can tell he get irritated after a while. Like, damn, she like, what? What is you doing, girl? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, Blueface got to like this shit because he could have been checked her ass, but he not. So that's my take on that, you guys. I, I had to say something about that interview, all right? So with that being said, y'all be careful out here, y'all, because these motherfuckers is crazy. This generation up under us. Lord help them. They they just gone. They gone, y'all. They really gone. And I'm going to get into that on another day.